Hormones are what make us men and women. They determine our energy levels, our male and female performance, our quality of life being greatly dependent on them. I'm sure most people are familiar with how popular male performance boosters are, testosterone, various drugs, billion dollar industry. I would argue the female equivalent of that can be equated to birth control, probably another billion dollar industry. Some of you may remember a video I made several months ago, how to boost testosterone naturally, where I had a fake beard, was telling you guys to rub vitamin D on your private parts, the origin of Frankie's ball grease. But I wasn't joking. There's a lot of truth to this we will discuss. Before we understand how to increase your hormones naturally, I want you to understand and value the information I'm releasing in this video. You know, I haven't seen anyone else talk about this and I'm uncomfortable doing so with how much I've been plagiarized, but I do want to help people and plagiarism is a risk I have to take. So if you guys can please share the video, you, know, you can support me through the various methods down in the description. It's important to note that you need to remove endocrine disruptors from your diet and lifestyle. Chemicals, antibiotics that inhibit natural hormone production, they alter your levels. That could be birth control in your drinking water, you know, taking birth control itself as a female, estrogenic herbicides like atrazine in feedlot meat, you know, various chemicals on thermal receipt paper, plastics, Again, the main problem being in men, they lower your testosterone and boost your estrogen. In females, they boost your estrogen and lower your testosterone, which moves us away from how we should naturally perform. Yeah, males do get the short end of the stick in this regard, but it is still detrimental to females. Uh, I have a video titled, Michaela Peterson Wants to Feminize Men. Check that out if you want to learn more about these endocrine disruptors. Guys, do not underestimate how difficult it can be to remove those from your diet and lifestyle. Your drinking water has to be clean. All the food you're eating has to be clean. You know, what you're cooking stuff in, what you're handling on a day-to-day -day basis, very, very difficult to do. Once those are removed, there are two primary things you can do to restore your hormone status. One is to ensure your body has all the required nutrients to synthesize those hormones. That can be achieved by following a nutrient-dense animal foods-based diet, you know, plenty of wild quality land meats as well as seafood, and you could also take certain supplements. Two is to consume the parts of the animal that promote those properties. You know, for males, that would be the testes of the animal, the milt of the fish. For females, that would be the ovaries of the animal or the eggs of the fish, aka caviar. This brings us to the main culprit nutrients lacking in our diets. Of course, if you're on a standard American diet, you're probably lacking everything. But even on a high quality carnivore diet, you know, you're only consuming wild caught fish, grass fed beef, you're likely still lacking two nutrients. Vitamin D in the form of vitamin D3 that our body synthesized from the sun and vitamin K in the form of vitamin K2, MK4, which is obtained from high quality fermented animal products. We're not out in the sun as much as we used to be and clothing prevents the absorption. You know, people are inside working all day. Every single group of indigenous people fermented animal foods. When a food rots, the bacteria produce vitamin K2. Why do you think so many people love cheese or crave cheese? It's that vitamin K2 content, the fat soluble vitamin content. Yeah, if the gut is healthy, you can synthesize some vitamin K, but no one really has a healthy gut microbiome now, and no one has been eating a pound of raw cheese per week since they were a toddler. So you've never gotten enough vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 at any point in your entire life, including now. These two nutrients are important for the hormone osteocalcin, a calcium binding protein. And as you can imagine, during developmental stages of life, this will literally determine if your face develops properly, how attractive you are, how beautiful you are. What we're focusing on today is outside of those developmental stages of life, as we are now adults, not children. You know, no point in crying over spilled milk. Literally, if you were drinking high quality raw milk, you might be a little prettier. Don't blame your parents though. Osteocalcin plays many roles in the body, even in our adult life glucose regulation, energy metabolism, brain development and function, and relevant today for males, the cells in your testes, same with females in the ovaries, actually require osteocalcin to produce testosterone 
or estrogen. It makes sense why we see vitamin D deficiency being associated with metabolic syndromes like insulin resistance. That being said, vitamin D without vitamin K causes issues. High osteocalcin is related to prostate problems, likely because the osteocalcin is not being utilized by the tissue. In this trial, just vitamin D supplementation increased testosterone levels around 20% in men. We see a stimulation in the production of testosterone with vitamin K2, notably in the form MK4. We have to note in the study that vitamin K1, the plant form, was not effective. Just another lie vegans tell you, when in reality, you need the animal version of vitamin K. As you can assume, this translates to females as well. Vitamin D is essential for full gonadal function in both males and females. The action of vitamin D on estrogen biosynthesis was partially explained by maintaining calcium homeostasis. However, direct regulation of the expression of the aromatase gene should not be neglected. What's important to note is that with men, we have the problem of low testosterone, and the goal is to boost testosterone and minimize estrogen. That's higher than normal. With women, we usually have an imbalance, usually too much estrogen and not enough testosterone. So in some cases, vitamin D actually reduces breast cancer risk by regulating these to normal levels. It's kind of interesting because in men, you'll see testosterone go up and they'll feel better and perform better, become healthier. In women, you see estrogen go down, they look better, they perform better, they're healthier. And just like we need these vitamins to stimulate the synthesis of testosterone in the testes, they stimulate the production of hormones in the ovaries as well. Same with vitamin K2. It plays a role in modulating estrogen function. And guys, I'm not a biochemist. I don't wanna read these studies all day, but it's important we have established the idea that these nutrients are required for our normal bodily function. In this case, hormones. Vitamins, minerals, fatty acids are the building blocks of humans. And if we're missing them or the ratios are off, you end up with a lot of the modern problems we have today. If you can't get 10 hours of sun per week, maybe even more depending on your skin color, in the spring and summer, you definitely need to supplement. I suggest anywhere from five to 10,000 IU per day uh, to start. You guys can check out my previous video on vitamin D and tanning. Uh, for vitamin K2, I've seen people use well over 45 milligrams per day initially to fix a deficiency, but a normal dose from food is less than one milligram. That being said, you know, if you are deficient, if you think you need to take this, watch my vitamin K2 MK4 video for more information on that. You can get these supplements on Amazon. Uh, I have them a bit more affordable on organsupplements.com. With all the information out there and snake oil that people are selling, you're going to be pleasantly surprised when you rub some vitamin D on your skin and instantly feel the energy. When you take that vitamin K2 orally and you literally feel the energy after taking it, this is different. Vitamins are the building blocks for human life. But even if you do get these nutrients, you might need a little extra help due to modern problems. Back to what we said earlier, eating the reproductive organs of animals. The easiest way to do this would be, you know, go to a fish market, get some fish, or eat some whole fish like oysters, shellfish. The milt and roe in the fish, the sperm and the egg, are the corresponding male and female organs. And they will have bioactive hormones that will help you, as well as nutrients conducive to reproductive health. Yeah, you have to go to the fish market, pick out a bunch of fish, fillet the fish, hope that the reproductive organ is present, it's the right time of year. That is a bit of a pain. Uh, so that's why I offer salmon caviar fish eggs on Frankie's free range meat. And I'm looking to get some milk as well. On organ supplements, I do offer a beef testy supplement and I am going to add a female fertility supplement in the very near future. I mean, on a budget, you can go to a local Asian fish market and probably get the raw or milt or cheaper fish for free if you ask them to save it. But if you're buying fish yourself and trying to find it by filleting it, you might have a difficult time doing that. So definitely talk to the fishmonger, you know, slip them a few dollars, ask them if they can save you those byproducts of filleting the fish because those normally go in the garbage. Uh, so if you want the convenience of a pill or an approachable food or don't want to smell like Frankie fish fingers, uh, you know, you can check out my salmon row or supplements, uh, you know, whatever venues you have nearby. So thank you guys for joining me. 
Uh, again, I, I genuinely did not really want to share this information. I feel like I could have made a lot more money on it, but I've already given away <laughs> so, so much for free. What's a little more? Uh, so if you guys want to support me, you know, we mentioned organsupplements.com. Uh, you can go to Frankie's Free Range Meat for quality animal foods at an affordable price. We have Frankie's Naturals. You want to try the ball grease, then you don't need to supplement vitamin D. Uh, you can go to frank for a free carnivore diet meal plan. If you want a description of what vitamins you need in your diet, and if you guys do want to support me, you, know, you can go to my Patreon, go to my PayPal, support the future of high quality animal nutrition. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't get, uh, don't get too horny, boys.